Next up, we have 18-year-old Sophie from Shropshire and 22-year-old Danny from Stevenage. <laughs> My tongue! Car salesman Danny met Sophie on a family holiday to Tenerife. Oh! On holiday, I was the one that was doing all the chasing. It was love at first sight. I thought she was beautiful when I first set eyes on her. No missing about. He asked me out like three times and I was like, no, not yet, not yet. <laughs> but eventually she gave in and a year in, these two are still on cloud nine. Although Sophie is used to life in the air. As an air hostess, she flies the skies at the beck and call of passengers. But when she's back on terra firma, there's nothing Sophie likes more than to be waited on hand and foot. You call that folded? I didn't fold it. By who else? <laughs> Mum and Dad, of course. Sophie, can you make me and Louise a cup of tea, please? Two seconds. Now, I know what you're thinking. Here's another lazy teenager grown accustomed to the easy life. Cheeky comments to Mum. Do you want to make any more noise? And ignoring Dad. Right. Where are you skiving off to? But these aren't even Sophie's parents. Two months ago, she moved out of her mum's place to shack up with Danny's mum and dad and sisters Emma and Sarah. It was kind of like, she said, well, when are you moving in? She said, well, I've moved in now. Well, OK, then. <laughs> That's fine. No, this, we, can, we can class this as Sophie's official moving in dinner, even though Danny hasn't asked us if she can actually move in. I didn't ask my parents. I sort of just done it all by myself. I had to change her address, her driving licence, and, yeah, slightly moved her in. Back in Stevenage, it's food fights of a more literal kind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm flower as well. <laughs> These two holiday <laughs> lovebirds still act like they're on vacation. Danny, <laughs> Sophie. Oh, yeah? What was you supposed to do with these? Throw them in the bin. Why are they still in the fridge? Because I forgot. <laughs> what have you done today? Living here is absolutely easy. Um, we get everything done for us. With her second mum on hand, Sofa loving Sophie doesn't need to lift a finger. Never seen Sophie dust or hoover. Can't stand dusting. It's just, it's just, I don't know, it's horrible. <laughs> Which leaves more time for this. Love you, love you, love you. Love you, Love too. you more. Ugh. But life in their cushy love nest is an all peace and light. Family life is really, really busy. There's always people in and out, dog wandering in and out, barking. We also have friends come around to just pop in. Come on in. Um, it's open door policy, really. I think we're known for it. Sophie and Danny can't even retreat to the bedroom. And there's an airing cupboard in this room, and it's annoying because you don't really get much privacy because obviously his parents come in or his sisters come in for like towels or for a new bed in. <laughs> And grabbing a towel's the perfect chance for a chat. Right, Dad? Oh. It's about quarter past six, I think. Oh, turn the light off. What, what are you that? doing? Idiot. But Sophie's made herself at home in the chaos. It's her house. Um, she'll help herself to the food in the cupboard. She'll text me, oh, Mum, can you get me some tuna? <laughs> it's a good thing that Danny's parents, Karen and Gary, like having Sophie around. Sophie's much like her third daughter. Emma actually said it's the sister she never wanted. Oh, um, sweet. <laughs> Karen even says that she classes me as her own daughter and I would class her as my little second mum. <laughs> In Stevenage... What did I tell you to do today? There's no question of Sophie or Danny venturing into the kitchen. So, what time's dinner going to be? Because it's, like, half five now. Yeah. Oh, really? In about an hour or less? Well, for dinner, so. Your guess is as good as mine. Can you hurry up? Because I'm actually hungry. It will be ready when it's ready. Go on, girl, whack up a good old dinner. Just how we like it. Well, can we oh, go okay. now? Oh, I like it. Sophie's <laughs> cooking skills have not ventured past an omelette. I did get a good GCSE in school at cooking. <laughs> I'm confused again. Bolognese, stir fry. Potatoes. I don't see why I don't cook them all the same dinner and they either eat it or they don't eat it. Danny doesn't like onions. Sarah, my daughter, is vegetarian. 
Sophie doesn't like mushrooms or anything. It's just get sometimes absolute nightmare. While Karen rushes around, Sophie's nearby with some encouraging words. You're the one that's making it hard for yourself. Did you hear what she said? No, I didn't. What did you say? She's the only one that's making it hard for yourself. By the time I sit down to eat with dinner, they'd be finished. Despite all the cheeky back chat, Sophie loves all the business of family life. Because we met on holiday, I already met his parents, so we don't have to go through that sort of stage. And I should get on with like all his family so well. I feel, yeah, I feel really comfortable here. Over in Stevenage, with Danny and Sophie both working full time, there's cash to splash on the finer things in life. I buy so shoes, clothes, chocolates. Between us, we do spend quite a lot of money. Which hasn't gone unnoticed by Danny's mum and dad. Danny and Sophie do not pay any money towards housekeep. They like spending their money on themselves. I theme parks, going to the zoo. I love trainers and jackets. Cinema, bowling, ice skating. This is getting ridiculous, this shopping bill, Gary. There you go. You need to tell them then, don't you? You do the shopping, I don't know what it costs. I do a bulk shop, spend a fortune, and then I'm buying stuff every night. I don't think they realise that you have to pay for stuff like water, gas, electricity. It all mounts up. But Sophie and Danny aren't interested in household bills. Talking about money. Go. Here we go. <laughs> Housekeeping? Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> and that's it, disappear while we talk about money. <laughs> that's typical. Do you know what? The day they all move out, we can put flags out. I love them, but I wish they'd clear off. But actually, Karen, the feeling's mutual. My parents are always constantly nagging me about stupid stuff. It would be lovely to get out of this house where I don't have any nagging whatsoever. I want to move out the most. I'm ready to go that one step further in my life. But Danny's maturity only stretches so far. Who's going to clean the toilet? That's what I want to know. Danny said he would, so No chance. No chance. Yeah, I want to move out, but I like, I like it here as well. How will they cope with a week in the real world? Oh, turn the light off. We're giving them the funds they need to rent a home of their own. They're so dumb. But it's the same amount they'd have if they were doing it for real. Massage, 20 pounds. No. Nice. Luckily, in Stevenage... Oh, I'm really excited. <laughs> Danny's enthusiasm Good. about escaping the airing cupboard is infectious. Ooh. Oh, the kitchen's massive. Wow! <laughs> Don't have to wash up. Don't have to wash up now. They're easily sold on the perfect pad. Boom! <laughs> but will they cope away from Karen's cooking and their hectic happy home? Well, it's soon time to pack those bags and find out. Over in Stevenage, doting Danny's desperate to feather his new love nest. Some rose petals, some candles. Can do. Yeah? Hmm. I don't think Sophie's that fussed. Not, we don't want too much, though, do we? Danny wants it to feel more homely, I guess. Um, I don't really know why. Well, because it's your home, maybe? Teddy bear for the bed? No. Um, we don't have it on this yeah. bed, so why would we have it on that bed? Because it's more space. Oh, pictures. Can't leave them behind. I packed her quite a lot of photos of me and Sophie. There's a big photo of Alfie there, so the dog's coming along with us as well. With Danny packing everything possible, there's just time to raid the kitchen and write one last heartfelt, poignant farewell note. Or well, that'll do. Nearly um, time to say goodbye to the house. Um, bring it on. Unloaded, unpacked, and the battle with the bed linen won. And back in Stevenage, luxury loving Sophie and Danny have their own money troubles. I won't get my nails done. Massage £20. No. Nope. Yeah, if you're getting your train, yeah. But when it comes to food, compromise is not an option. So I think we should just buy like basics <laughs> <laughs> sort of food. No. I'm not having basic food. So, off to the shops to work on those bargaining skills. Because we spent like £16 on this shop, how are we going to afford to get shopping for the rest of the week? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. We'll just get basic stuff. And I mean basic stuff. OK? Yes, sir. Soph's taking her new domestic responsibilities very seriously.
and in Stevenage... There's no water. Sophie and Danny's attempt to cook their first dinner has run into a problem. We have to try and figure out where the main water pipe is. Right, Danny, here's your chance to be the knight in shining armour. I actually have no idea. This is when we need your mum and dad, isn't it? Oh, that is so confusing. <laughs> I'm pretty used to this stuff. Oh. Go check it now. <laughs> yeah! Oh! He's finally sorted it. Of course I've done it. It's time to rustle up their first meal. How does independence taste? One just tastes of soap. Does it? <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It's the base. Mmm, yeah. soapy independence. <laughs> hey, look, there's some soap there. Did you wash up this properly? Did it <laughs> rinse those plates, though, Sophie? Mine's nice. Next time, I don't want a soapy pizza. With suds in their supper, the reality of what she's given up is sinking in for Sophie. I'm feeling quite scared at the minute. Me and Danny will have to do everything ourselves and not depend on Karen or Gary. So it will be a massive change for us. In Stevenage, lovebirds Danny and Sophie are waking up for the first time in their new love nest. This looks all right last night. It's nice waking up and not having people waking us up. If that yeah, I know. Just wake up when you want to wake up. Yeah. Missing mum and dad? Mm, not really. <laughs> um, I'm sure I give it time. I will be, but it's nice not to be nagged. Danny's loving his new life, but with her man out to work, their new house is a little too quiet for Sophie. With my job, I work and then have like a chunk of days off. Then while Danny's at work, I'm at home on my own. Now it's just silent, really. I'm so used to people like walking in and out of like Danny's house. I'm so like alone and bored here, and I just feel like if I was at Danny's now, I'd have company because there's always people in the house. In need of some comfort food, Sophie tries a cheeky text to her favourite restaurant. Because we've got no food in the house, I text one of Danny's uh, sisters, Emma. I'm um, asking her to come round and ask if she can uh, bring me some food round, but she said no. <laughs> it's time to raid the kitty to buy a few essentials. I might have to do a bit of shopping today because I don't want to starve. <laughs> oh. So Sophie knocks up one of her world famous omelets. As you can see, it's pretty uh, mashed up. But it will take more than comfort food to shake her homesick blues. I think it's weird eating on my own, because there's always someone at the house at Karen and Gary's. It's a bit lonely. As Sophie learns that lunch for one is not much fun. Change is afoot over in Stevenage too. Boredom's had one positive effect on Sophie. She's experimenting with a previously untouched domestic appliance. I actually don't know how to start it. There's no start button. I think you'll find they're probably... There you go. There you go. It seems independent life has kick-started the domestic goddess in Sophie too, albeit a reluctant one. I miss Karen doing all the chores because she's the one that normally does it and then now I'm doing it and it just doesn't feel right. <laughs> With the chores out of the way, there's just enough time to bask in the glow of a job well done. I reckon Sove's done absolutely nothing today. I think she's just sat down, cooked something for herself. That's about it, as far as she's got, probably. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Hiya. You all right? Yeah, yeah. What have you done today? Um, more than you, probably. What have you done? Kiss. Done your washing up that you left on the side. Mm, yeah. I was going to do it when I get home. Done the hoovering. Have you? So, it's time for a hard-earned dinner. After nailing the housework, Sophie's looking to extend her repertoire. It says, must microwave. So, do you think it'll be all right in the oven? I don't know. No, probably not. Like that, for both of us? Are you mad? <laughs> I'm not that mad. Don't put it in yet. Why not? Because your chips ain't done. I am really missing my mum's cooking. Um, it just makes you realise, since not being here, 
like your mum being around cooking, yeah, I'm actually missing the, the proper dinners. <laughs> Yours cold in the middle? Yeah. Mmm, like baked Alaska. Maybe we should put the burgers in, not the baps. Put them back in. You do it. I asked you to get microwavable burgers. So, has failing the notorious microwave burger challenge dampened this couple's spirits? Living my own is everything I've had so far. I just love the freedom, just love doing what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. I do enjoy the privacy and the space. I am feeling a bit maybe nearer to moving out, but I miss loads of other things at Danny's home as well. Danny's still got some convincing to do, but that's not his only challenge. Tomorrow, they've got the parents coming for dinner. Can they impress super mum Karen? Will Sophie and Danny have more luck when they cook for his parents over in Stevenage? It's six o'clock now. Parents are doing in an hour's time and it's going to be a rush. You're feeling the pressure. So what's I Sophie, am. the culinary assassin, got up her sleeve this time round? I'm hoping Danny and Sophie have uh, cooked us a really nice meal. It'd be nice to taste their cooking. And I hope they haven't been down the town and bought it from a takeaway. <laughs> this feels disgusting. Not a takeaway, but the crafty couple have been down to the local supermarket to pick up some ready-made gourmet chicken. Mum's the word. Yeah, I think Mum will be impressed how the chicken and bacon looks all nicely wrapped. I mean, if they ask me, did I prepare it all myself, I'll be like, of course I did. We did. Of course we did. They'll never believe you, Sophie. Mm. You all right? Right, all right? show time. Welcome to the crib. It's quite tidy, I'm quite impressed. Oh, thanks. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> oh, spoke too soon. The potatoes are still hard. You are right in there? Yeah, we're fine. Well, yeah, I did say to put this on before, didn't I? Well, why didn't you just do it? If you left it to me, we'd have been, we'd have been eating by now. That is still raw, I'm not even lying. No, it's not. Okay, okay. I mean, you have a look. Yeah. Why is that pink now? There's no juices coming out of it, There's no though. juice. It's no, so it's... dumb. That's nice. Funny. Play it cool, Danny. The shop bought main course is finally served. And supercook Karen can't yeah, wait to get Sophie's yeah, secret yeah. recipe. Hmm? How to do your chicken and cheese and that? Oh, um, cut the chicken sort of in half and then stuff the cheese in and then just wrap the bacon round. Did you use fresh chicken or did you buy it frozen? Just the ones that look like these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced. You, um, what bacon is it? Smoking. What <laughs> <laughs> smoking bacon? <laughs> Oh. Any other questions? Actually, I am really impressed. I didn't think you'd actually manage to pull this off. They think they fooled her. No chance, guys. How many chicken fillets do you get in a packet then? Six. Six. Nice try, so. Busted. <laughs> we did try, didn't we? We thought, yeah, we'll get where it is. <laughs> <laughs> They may have been rumbled, but Mum Karen is still impressed. I'm really proud of Danny and Sophie. Um, considering they didn't really do anything in the house and they've gone to cook in a free course meal um, and living on their own, yeah, they have made me proud. She did well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice one, guys. And Danny's gained a whole new perspective on what Karen does for him. When Mum obviously has a full day at work, I learned that what she actually does go through even to cook four dinners, let alone just the one dinner we cooked tonight. So for us to cook what we've actually cooked, I think they're really surprised and really proud of us. In Stevenage, Danny's still desperate to persuade Sophie to stay in their house, but she's more interested in playtime. Even though, like, we're on a budget, I still want to sort of go, go on some days out, just not as many as we yeah, used to go on. Yeah, we need to limit it. We need to... Um... So, what do you want to do today then? Oh, looking out there, it's going to be really sunny and hot. We'll go crazy golf. <gasps> crazy golf. Boom! <laughs> Good shot. It's really nice spending time with Soph to do a day out when it's lovely weather like this. It's, I find it really enjoyable today. Yes! 
He's won at Crazy Golf, but Danny's more interested in winning Sophie over to his move out mission. Time for a heart to heart. But you've been lonely like, when I've been at work, so is it quite nice for you to do this with me? It's been nice, but like, we won't be able to do it a lot because we are in a budget. And we would have to make a lot of sacrifices if we do decide to um, move out. Because I'm still young, I still want to go out clubbing. I still want to enjoy myself and not have to think about bills to pay. Would you sacrifice it, like, your massage and your nails? Or instead of doing that, maybe you might have enough money to go out for one night? Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? <laughs> Maybe not massage nails, I would sacrifice, but... Then don't mind you can't go out because you don't have any money. I've moved from Shropshire to, like, actually move into Danny's parents' house, so I've, like, said bye to my mum, said bye to all my friends, and then I feel like I'm making even more, sac more like, sacrifices to move into, like, our own place, like, my nails, massage, everything, really. I am feeling, uh, sort of upset, quite surprised in the way Sophie feels about everything. Um, I'm willing to give up loads of things to um, make it work for both of us, whereas Sove's not 100% there yet. Yeah. In a bid to get Sophie fully on board with their new life together, Danny revs up the house party bus to show her they're not too broke to have a bash. I'm hoping uh, me and Sophie can have a fun night together tonight. She doesn't need to go out to have a good time, so I'm hoping tonight um, we'll show her that she can actually enjoy herself being in these four walls in the flat. Like, maybe just hang it off like this. <laughs> because I like partying myself, I think tonight is going to be, like, a good night. Um, I'm going to have a few drinks and just going to let my hair down and just see what happens at the end. Good on, man, mate. See you <laughs> Yeah, the house party warm is going wicked. Danny's drunk then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think Danny's really drunk. Um, I'm getting there. Five, four, three, two. It's gone much better than I thought. Oh, Are you crazy? So it looks like they're having a good time and everything's good. Oh, no, no, they end their week on a high and they've even saved up some beer tokens to splash. Let's go to the nightclub. Yeah, I have a good evening. We're going to go to a pub or a nightclub or something yeah. and spend the rest of our budget. Sophie's enjoying her freedom, but is she prepared to make it permanent? In Stevenage, Danny and Sophie are all out of days. It's time to make their decision to either stay in the flat or go back to Danny's family home. I thought it would be really tough. I thought it would be a lot harder than it actually was, but I've actually really enjoyed myself and I found it really easy. really enjoyed like the space and the privacy like for me and Danny. I really know what I want to do. I just hope so feels the same way. After this experience, I do feel like my mind's made up. Before Karen and Gary hear the couple's decision, they get to see how this week's gone, and there's a few surprises waiting for them. <laughs> oh, I bet she's not even plugged it in. No. I don't think I've ever seen her with a hoover, actually. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's already cooked. We're just heating it up. He's got his in, don't care about hers. <laughs> not putting it in yet. Why not? Because the chips ain't done. God, he's quite bossy, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he's Yeah. There's only two of them, isn't it? About 500 chips each. It's finally time for Danny and Sophie to reveal yeah. what they've decided. So, Danny, have you found the week? Yeah, I've um, really enjoyed myself. Sophie done quite a bit of housework, yeah. to be fair. At Hoovering, we saw you do. Yeah, it's made me appreciate what you guys do for me a lot more. When you come home after a long day at work, cooking four different dinners, I was struggling with the one. What about just having your own space? How did that feel? It, I, I found it a bit too quiet. Like, the first morning we woke up and we were like, where is everyone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was weird. I know, but it just felt so good just to have the space in the privacy. OK, so <laughs> what decision have you two come to? Well, I don't know about you, but I want to move back in with you. Only because 
I don't think I'm ready to live on a budget and sacrifice things that I love doing. Well, as I feel, I'm ready. I want to move out. But as I said, don't, so we've come to a decision, haven't we? That we're going to go back home with you. Devastated. Bet you're dead excited. I'm great. <laughs> Glad you're moving back home, but things are going to have to change slightly, though, if that's the case. You are going to have to contribute to the housekeeping. So there's going to be a few more house rules. The only thing I don't want you to ask me to do is the dusting. I'll do anything else but the dusting. <laughs> Honestly, I, just, I don't like I don't dusting. Yeah, I think eventually we will move out soon. It's just not the right time at the moment, is it? It would be nice to have you home. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a bit gutted that we're not moving out, we're going back home. But I think the future looks good. Hopefully you move out soon, get married, have children. <laughs> Maybe. The positive of like moving back home is just so we can actually save money. I think they've actually learned a bit more about each other. I think they're happy that we're coming home really, aren't they? Deep down I think they are. Yeah. They'll be happy to have us back. With Danny and Sophie's newfound appreciation of what the hotel of Mum and Dad provides, this romantic couple have decided to stop living with their heads in the clouds and move back home to plan for the future.